I want to reply to some comments uh, that took offence at my uh, giving any airtime to Dan Wooten. It is important to give airtime to people who you don't agree with. And as Dan Wooten has been completely exonerated, he says, from the various charges that he was facing, I think it's important to give him the same credibility that he would give to anybody else who is a an honest and reasonable individual who is peddling a story. We need to look at that story. We need to consider whether or not it is worth the time of day and whether or not the person who is uh, putting forward that story is worth the time of day. And what I find is that uh, Dan Wooten's manner is quite extraordinary and seems to be at odds with the story he's telling. The story he's telling is one of great sadness and great worry, and yet he does so with a grin. And I find that disturbing. I also find it disturbing that he doesn't seem to identify clearly the people he's talking about. I, I have the same problem when I'm uh, taking a call from somebody from the bank, somebody from a telephone company, who just mumbles their name so quickly that they it's as if they don't want to take responsibility for the name they have assumed. And when I ask for the name again, I don't get it. I went into a store the other day, Curry's, and they were particularly rude. And when I asked for somebody's name, he turned his um, back on me and hid his name tag so that I couldn't see it. I didn't particularly want to quote him or indeed to say anything negative to him. Um, but I must say that reluctance to let me have his name seemed to me to be quite the most extraordinary form of customer care. And people I, I, people I know do have doubts about those people who are fronting the news, and those doubts, I think, should be voiced and should be heard in the same way as the people who are putting forward those stories. Simply because you don't like somebody doesn't mean you should ignore them. Uh, indeed, I think if you don't like somebody, maybe you have more of a duty to look at what they've got to say. Um, TG Fab Thunderbird 1 says, Wooten has no shame, he's making money and getting attention. Uh, and drop dude John, who's always good for a good uh, a good comment, says, I think you mean Harry. <laughs> Barbara uh, Pinnock says, drop dude John. No, not Harry. And Dan Rotten. I don't know who Dan Rotten is. Don Rotten. Um, I don't think it's even about the money and attention. I think he has some major issues. His life appears to be unravelling, sadly, even in his case. It's probably not going to end well, and I don't know whether It's Fishy 369 is talking about Harry or about um, uh, M Mr. Wooten. It's it's so unclear. Uh, but that, that, that level of tribalism is the sort of thing that I'm trying to fight against. I think everybody is worth the airtime, and people who are on uh, so grabbing that airtime, they need to be looked at, examined, and if necessary, mocked. Um, and um, we, we need to tease out some level of. I can't say I can't say truth because I'm not sure truth is what we're looking for. What we're looking is what we're looking for is information. Uh, the truth is how we perceive it. And people who are confirmed liars can nevertheless tell the truth. It, it's our perception which is important. And, uh, and and whether or not the information we are getting contributes to a nicer world. Uh, now, the word nice, I know, has undergone so many changes in, in history. Um, but for the last 200 years, it's meant something quite positive. Um, at one point, it meant accuracy. And I'm not sure whether that's the meaning it has at the moment. But um, in the past, it meant stupidity. <laughs> and sometimes I think people assume the word nice has that meaning again. It doesn't. That was a medieval meaning. Um, 
and uh, we've gone well beyond that point. But I would like to see um, a debate where we where we get as many of the views as possible, and I certainly wouldn't like to see uh, views being ignored simply because we don't like the person who's promoting them.